I, I can't really think of anything funny to say uh, to start this video, so I'm just going to do this. Good morning, and welcome back to Coffee with Santi. Today, uh, I thought we would talk about uh, simplicity, um, and more specifically, uh, sort of my own personal ethos of uh, keeping things simple. Um, I'm sure I've talked about this in some capacity before on this channel, but when it comes to a lot of things in my life, um, one of the things that I try really hard to do uh, is keep things as simple as I can, because for me, um, there's sort of a, not only like a kind of a beauty in simplicity, but there's something like that kind of really helps uh, keep things in order in my brain when I keep them uh, to sort of their basic essentials. Um, and what I mean is like specifically like if I have a habit that I'm trying to start or if there's a task that I want to do or, or you know anything like that. What I try my hardest to do is kind of keep it as simple as I can because the way, just because of the way my brain works, I, I can't handle like multiple things at a time, right? Like I'm very one track minded, kind of super focused on one thing at a time. Uh, and the more complicated that one thing becomes, the easier it is for my brain to kind of lose focus, to kind of focus on something else, or to get overwhelmed and to just kind of ignore the thing altogether. So one of the things that I really try to do with myself is like, you know, if I'm starting something new, if there's something that I'm trying to kind of turn into a habit, I kind of boil it down to its base essentials and I think, well, what are, the, you know, these couple of things that I can do that are going to get me there and then slowly over time kind of build it so that it's like more effective. The best example I can think of is like with exercise, like the number one thing I try to do with my exercise routines is to keep it simple. So like, you know, I don't go out of my way to like build a super specific routine. I don't go out of, which I know like is sort of the advice that you're given, but I found it's kind of best if I go to the gym and kind of work out uh, knowing like, you know, sort of what areas of my body I want to work on. And then just kind of following my gut and kind of doing the exercises that I think are best, you know, occasionally trying to work in new exercises, making sure that I'm keeping it, you know, whatever, but never making it more complicated than it needs to be, you know. I don't introduce timers, I don't uh, do anything that would like confuse my brain and make me not wanna uh, work out. And there's another part of that which is like, you know, if I'm gonna go to the gym, I make it simple for myself. I just lay my clothes out the night before, keep all my stuff in the same bag, keep that bag in the same place. That way it's so easy to just get it, go, and uh, it's easy. So. I could talk about this forever, um, and I won't in this video. I'll probably make a follow-up video to this at some point, kind of further explaining this, but yeah. That's just one of my things that I kind of always have in my head, is this idea of like, you know, keep it simple. Like, don't, don't complicate your life more than you have to, because the more complicated things get, like, the easier it is to kind of lose track of what's important and, you know, what you're really trying to accomplish in life. So, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like, maybe subscribing down below, possibly leaving a nice comment. I make videos like these every so often. So, thank you again for watching, and I will see you some other time.